Well, hi, Mike in Florida. Mike says he was literally about to tweet that he misses the quarantine mail leopard. Well, there we go, Mike. Especially for you on the sunrise safari, we have quarantine. He is such a beautiful male leopard. He's just over four years old now. So another year or two before he's really big enough to start challenging for his own territory. At the moment, he's what we refer to as a dispersal male leopard. So what that means is he's been pushed out of his natal territory and he sort of jigs and jags trying to avoid the dominant male leopards in the area. And one of the reasons that they are pushed out of their mother's territory is to, to stop inbreeding. Although big cats can inbreed for up to six generations without any adverse genetic effects, uh, it is an evolutionary development that they are m moved away from where their m mothers are and therefore possibly their sisters. Because female leopards will sequester a tiny section of their territory to their daughters. Now he's moved probably 10 or 15 kilometers from his natal territory, but in some cases dispersal male leopards have been recorded moving over 400 kilometers from where they were born. Oh, getting comfy. So Dawn's wondering, how does a leopard's fur feel? Is it soft or is it coarse? Well, the belly fur is quite soft. Um, it's not nearly as soft as a, as a domestic cat, for example, but it is, it is less coarse than a lion's. How's that, Brian? His head's really tucked in there. I'm just making some space for Abel to come in behind us. Of course, you don't really want to stroke a leopard to feel its fur. Even though they look so pretty and clean, they are not. Uh, lots of ticks, ectoparasites, mites, and also a very strong possibility of getting tapeworms, liver flukes. So if you ever do handle a leopard, it's always best to, to wear gloves. Now, the wind is coming from the south, which is from behind that termite mound. So he's got that little ridge there that's protecting him from the wind. Nice little warm spot. <laughs> 